Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone. It's another show and tell. Another one. Got a whole heap to show you again today. The uh, show and tell box seems to fill up faster and faster as I go. Um, much of these I'm going to show you today uh, have been coming in in mail from auctions I've participated in or uh, friends chatting online and I realize that they have something I absolutely desperately must have. Um, other stuff is from the cupboard underneath the stairs uh, as the storage uh, arrangements in the house continue to grow. Uh, I need cars to fill that extra space and uh, some of these can get freed today. Many of these I had no idea I had. Isn't that wonderful? And I just realized I forgot to put my date stamp on them rather than having a full facial spasm trying to read that. I just went along and put all, all the carded ones now have stickers. So I'll just shove that in your grill and you'll know exactly what you're looking at. Uh, that year is obviously the year on the back of, the, uh, of this card and each card plus one. Okay. 2008 Honda Civic Type R. I also adjusted the camera because I realized you've been fidgeting between videos, so you're now sitting up straight in your chair. <laughs> oh dear. What a crazy life. <laughs> oh yeah. Good to get that off the card. Although, I've got to admit, um, it hasn't felt like it's been suffering because I had no idea had it, let alone it existed. It is the Honda Type R. A bunch of these I've resisted having this one in the collection, mainly because I didn't have room for so many trucks. Um, so I kind of knew this was about and a bunch of colours in this casting. But now I have room. Uh, I have a new truck drawer. It's a sentence I thought I'd never say. International CXT in white. Nice not to have to squint at that horribly small print on the back now. It's just a, a little bit of prep. I thought that was a mucked up paint job, but it's just a bit of cardboard dust. What's there? What's there, he says. Something farms, I can't see that. Oh, no. Big ol' exhaust on these. Pretty cool. Uh, I won't run out the other colour because I can't see it under the rubble, but we'll go to this one. Uh, 1981, the Celica. Um, my brother's old boss many, many, many years ago, probably in the 80s, his wife had um, a car like this. And uh, he used to say to my brother, he was um, Vietnamese, and he used to say to my brother, um, go, go out and get... Um, such and such as silly car because that's just how he said silly car silly car there's the back on that one there is a, a thing that you can mail in do not send cash not to New Jersey anyway boom boom special offer probably expired so is that price tag by the way 99 cents wouldn't mind going back to the 80s just for those prices <laughs> It is the silly car with opening doors, matching blue interior. Looks like a short person drove it last. That seat's right up against the, uh, the dash. Lucky escape with closing that door, never to be opened again. Cool, huh? Is that Hong Kong? Yeah. They did a bunch of Japanese cars back then, made in Hon Hong Kong, probably for the Chinese market. Well, wasn't China back then, was it? Uh, a couple of these, again, speaking of resisting putting things into your collection, uh, this is the Tyco years. Now, we scoff about the Tyco years because of the colours and the wheels, but it did get, get them through. and because they did what they did back then, I suppose you could say we still have Matchbox cars to buy. So, you know, it's not all bad. It's the Porsche 959 before I destroy it. My gripe with these ones is when you open that part of your collection, in my case, drawers, it's all you see. 
your eye just goes to the crazy colors. But now that I'm closing in on getting what I perceive to be all of these, um, you turn up with things like this, don't you? So, might as well include them. Yeah. Mm. You know, you know. Uh, thought I had this one for many years. Um, this one's been passed over uh, because I simply thought I already had it. Land Rover Defender 110 in the MBX Swamp Tours livery. If you want to see a crocodile or an alligator in the wild, probably shouldn't be jumping into one of these. You probably need a swamp rat. Matchbox do those too, so they're catering for all tastes. Groovy. That's of course the, uh, the later casting, isn't it? Number 32 of 2008 was the Volkswagen Concept, concept Convertible in a mm, lemon, not quite lemon, is it? Lemon souffle, I like to call that one. But uh, super duper interior on that. Genuinely good steering wheel. And everything suits the wheels, the colour. Yeah. Uh, we're going to change the pace a little. Remember Dinky? Do you see this as a matchbox car or do you scoff? 1988 uh, saw Mattel take over Dinky. They didn't do it in 88, I think. It was a few years before, but to uh, keep the brand going, they did a couple of things. They used six matchbox cars recolored them and marketed them as dinky, although the bases on these still say matchbox. Um, and they sold the rights into India for dinky, and the Indians called them Nikki toys. So if you're one of my uh, followers in India, hello to you, and you might enjoy these, or you may have enjoyed these as Nikki toys. Were they dinky? Were they matchbox? Who cares? It's the back. They're cool cars. Uh, I have three of these to show you today, of the six. I'm only aware of six. Um, and of course my um, hopes and dreams of completing the series will be shattered when I realise there's more than six. Just, oh, oh shoot. Damn. Well now there's more, because I've got to replace this one. Shoot. See what happens? And that wasn't because I was mucking around, by the way. I bet that one. Oh, yeah, I knew it. Well, that kind of um, makes me feel better because I, I know I didn't do it with being rough. Man, nobody's fault but age. Chrome base, made in Macau. I was told that these were all made in China, but uh, I think all of these were made in Macau that I'm going to show you. I'm not going to glue that back on. I'm going to put him in the naughty corner. But it will still go in my collection until I find a mint green one, but then of course the same thing's going to happen to that, probably. Uh, the Pontiac Firebird, sort of a kit car, isn't it? Michael Knight's ride. Nothing's going to fly off this, I promise. He says. Funky paint job. They uh, never always got the... never always. They didn't always get the chrome right on the wheels. That's the packaging side, so that's relief. They haven't rubbed off or been done in a dodgy manner. That'll go really well in the Firebird lineup as I get the bits of paint and rubbish off the desk. And the third one I had to show you is the old Golf. The cards a bit which makes me feel okay about destroying it. Now the uh, tampos aren't great on the roof. Maybe a bit of sun, maybe a bit of rub, but it looks like everything else is fine. Uh, oh no, it's a bit of dust. Maybe that's dust too. No, wishful thinking. But funky nonetheless. Love it. Huh. Dinky, or Nicky. 
four matchbox. So there are the three of those. I have another Honda to show you. Look at that. This reminds me of that Cadillac uh, CR whatever with the same. It was a station wagon. I called it the Fanta car. Um, tempted to put it next to this one, but no, I have a Honda draw. Uh, 2011. With the cool rims. Uh, where's the other one? That one. So that brings me to like five or six or so. Great. I'll put that one next to the smashed headlight. The other one's on the rug. I'll pick it up later. Unimogs are coming thick and fast. This is the Cargo version. Uh, Mercedes Benz Unimog U300. It was 61 of that year. Ricochets all over the studio. Yeah. It's cool casting. Remember the original that Matchbox did in the mid 80s? Another one of these, International CXT. Um, I was joking when I said I'll put those in your grill, but it seems to be I'm forming that habit. And I'll be a little more subtle. Uh, after this one, we'll, we'll switch a roo to a completely different era. It's a nice green. Put him next to his buddy, eh? Different wheels. All right, now, old stuff. That's the. Uh, the run of the mill with those wheels and then I was looking through a catalogue because I'm doing a catalogue review soon and in the catalogue it had yellow wheels so my two perfect combine harvesters in a 51 of the late 70s um, or in the case of the catalogue I'm chasing 8081 uh, has the yellow wheels so I had to drop some more coin and that's okay what else are you going to do with your money? So I'm closing in on completing that catalogue and I'll bring that to you as soon as it's finished. This is kind of in that same catalogue, the 8081, but it's in the page marked new, as in it's not part of the 75, but it's going to be in the following year. So I thought, well, I'll go above and beyond for my fans and um, also include everything on the new page just because I'm a bit of a nutter. Nice. Refuse truck. Lesney England. Nice. Some um, cold metal and I've been caffeined up <laughs> this morning so uh, get fingerprints on the truck on the steel. Nice box too. One of the things, oh, this has been an itch that needed scratching. There are, as far as I know, only three variants. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Three variants, and this is the second one I have put in my collection. One at auction. Bit of an oxymoron that winning at auction, winning supposes that you didn't pay for it but auction supposes that you damn well did <laughs> and a lot but that's okay i needed it badly yeah the first one the only one i have is the gray one uh, and then i saw this it's got a little bit of imperfection but hey it was the 80s everybody was high on something back then casting aspersions i'm sure the factory workers went Maybe the CEO was. Um, enough about all that. Audi TT. This is uh, one of those ones I did in the, the Mega Hall a couple of years back now, but simply didn't have the Audi capacity to house it. Now, if that was lemon souffle, is that butterscotch souffle? You know those in instant puddings you used to get? Jeez, I love those. Should have stocked up on them. It's where the saying goes, uh, comes from going out of fashion. Who knew that that was going to go out of fashion? Maybe you can still get instant puddings. It's just powder, isn't it? Uh, first shot. First edition. And what is it? Oh, that's right. They never told you, did they? It's black. 
That's the, the only thing I can tell you about it. Come here, you. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. I gave you rubber wheel, uh, rubber tyres. This is the Ford Coupe. And chrome around the windows. Lots of funky stuff. Really nice. 33 Coupe. It's good that the license plate set it because I couldn't read it off the base. And those fantastic tyres. Speaking of cool boxes, I just flat pack these and put a lackey around them, an elastic band, and um, store them away. Uh, the VIP series of 2010 gave us the Lexus GS 430 in a sort of, what orange would you call that? Mandarin? Tangerine? It's nice anyway, isn't it? And mm, package rub. I hate package rub. A lot of that was dust, but mm, not all of it. Show me your pretty side, love. Yeah. Cool paint job nonetheless. Thailand base. Um, there are another three carded ones, and then we'll go back to boxes, and also some old uh, ones I got from auction. Audi R8 in a deep red. Another one I could have sworn I had. Well, I do now. Nice, very nice. It's a beauty. I actually still see some of these on the road, and what a sound they make. Magic. Um, yeah, two more counted ones. The Fiskers 2010 Fisker Karma Fev. What is that? Plug in hybrid, hybrid thing? I don't know. Interesting roof pattern. And last carded one today is a bluey of the International CXT. Oh. Yeah, the growing number. I like the grey interior, the lighter grey interior on that one. Oh. There you go, little gang at the back and uh, small boxed ones. It's another auction uh, win inverted commas. I reached up uh, top for a butter knife and found four and I decided there must be time for an amnesty with the missus. Can I hand these in without penalty? <laughs> Just before she hunts me down for them. Ah yeah. Be careful with those. Uh, I'm sure they're not as delicate. No. Matchbox on the door. Hot August nights 1999. What a year. It's not hot in August in Australia. It's um, fairly wet and cold. Cold being 20 degrees instead of 40. But uh, yeah, cool box. Love it. Love it. And some premieres to show you. Oh, where's my butter knife? Shouldn't have given them all back. Actually, I haven't yet. It's all right. This is still out in the city, so... Uh, Audi Avis. I told you my Avis accommodation has expanded. And this weird little sucker is going in it. Strange. Quattro on the side. Yeah. And who? You, Cobra. Uh, I can jam my finger now on there. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't actually have room for this, but I spotted it when I was rummaging in the, uh, in the storage, and I thought, why isn't that out yet? And I realised there's no parking space for it. I'll find somewhere for it. And I'll go looking for it for a video in three months' time, and I'll swear black is white that I don't have it. Uh... 2006 Dodge Charger RT here. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to rip something. 
that sinking feeling when you destroy something. It's like that Citroen over the back there. Um, the, to use a French proverb, a glass's destiny is to break, but um, you prefer not to be the one that busts it. Nice silver there in the charger. Hmm. I'm learning to instantly recognize the difference between a charger and a magnum. Not easy for someone who has, um, I won't say never, seen them in the wild because I, I saw my first magnum when I was in Washington, Washington um, City, D.C. Uh, and it was as rough as guts, but uh, it was a nice example of what don't appear on Australian roads, the magnum, neither does the charger, so that's my excuse for being slow on the takeoff. Of recognizing them. Pretty cool Humvee. I thought they had suspension, but no. Uh, what have we got? Chevy Impala. In a funny outfit. This wasn't the model I hired. It was uh, a bit later model than this. I was in the States in 2011 um, for a whole month. Can't believe it. So fortunate. And uh, I hired three cars in the month. I hired one of these in Tucson and went all around San Diego and Vegas and LA and that. And uh, Crown Victoria on the other side, got it from New York and dumped it and I gave it back respectfully in Washington, <laughs> dumped it, uh, went through Canada, or a little bit of Canada in it and of course for my 40th I had that wonderful red Camaro in New York and uh, straight to the chiropractor after I gave that back. Hard ride, bad roads, hey, look at that, that's obviously why these two appeared on the same day. Time to beef up the Colexio day. That was the last collector. Quite a few had those stickers on the base. I'll peel it off before it is fully mine. What are you saying? Oh, you're getting a good view. Um, I'll do no. I'll do the last box one now, and then we'll get to a completely different era. Oh yeah. I've taken this out of the box a few times and then just put it back because I knew I didn't have the room, but now I do. It's a Mercedes 500 SL. Sweet. Lots of detail. Bit of suspension, rubber tyres, it's all going on. Alright, some really old stuff. Um, this one in particular, I've been very keen to have a, a look at. I got it from auction, so I've only seen it on the iPad screen. Now, this is for the same catalogue I was talking about earlier, with the dump truck and uh, the other thing, the combine harvester. Now this one is peculiar because it has the blue light bar and the yellow windows as per that particular catalogue. It's in really good nick. And the other bidders wanted it badly. I guess who wanted it more? Perfect. Massive, massive edition. Uh, let's see. Um, I think the next two were after the same catalogue and they were bought for the same reason. Now, this isn't one I've been chasing, but again, complete the catalogue, do the video. Yep. It's the JCB. Did they even call it the JCB? It's kind of what I'd know. Oh, site dumper, that's right. 1978 or 6. With the red bucket. Beautiful. Really, really perfect condition. And the third and last one of these 
for that catalog. Now I've got plenty of these in orange, but this one has the different shade blue. So that's how particular I've gone on the next catalog review. Um, it's almost always a darker blue that you find, but this one has the more vibrant blue. A few imperfections, but that's life and might need to go through the rubber dub car wash but that's mint so that is what five little gaps in that catalog that no longer exist for my collection anyway um, and if, if you're chasing down any catalog i hope to do a review of every year at some point this one's not part of that catalog it's obviously Part of an older catalogue um, and that's why I bought this one. Nice. Metro traffic. It's incredible how many there were out there. You know we sort of roll our eyes about the amount of variants these days but um, they were still doing them year after year and the gift packs as well. The gift packs are the expensive part, you know, if, if you want a specific car because it's, well, it's one you're collecting and uh, they only come out in a certain way in a certain gift pack, um, do you leave it or do you get it? In this case, uh, this one only existed in a twin pack and I got it, just as a single, again, one at, at auction blue lights, clear windows, and just the plain old police with the shield on the doors. Terrific. Another old Mercury. Yeah. Let's, uh, is there anything? That's it. We've got it all. Usually I, I finish filming and I'm plugging it, plugging it into the lap, laptop and stitching all together if I've cut the video for some reason, like those stickers on those cards. And then I realise, oh, I forgot to show you five other things. Not today, we've got them all. Fantastic. What a table full. Brilliant. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.